This is a natural phenomenon that happens right before the midnight sun. So it's basically two or three weeks prior to the midnight sun where the sun sets and then it goes into a sunrise. So you're having six, seven, eight hours with really red and bright, nice light. The phenomenon you can see north of the Arctic Circle. So all the way up to the North Pole, but it's, it's time defined. So it depends on the, the, the time of year. The area that I'm in, Lofoten, is quite small you will see that the sunset interconnected with the sunrise in one beautiful light show basically and it's uh, it's very spectacular when it sets it's very slow it's it's going horizontally so it's it's very slow and then it dips below the horizon but it's it never really goes far down so it's still light it's still the red color the yellow color the pink colors and then after maybe four three four hours it's coming back up as a sunrise I expected accidents. I, I brought double of everything, of all my gear. Because you're out on the rocks, you're trying to capture the essence. So it's ocean, it's the light, it's the mountains. So you basically have to go, you know, stand on very slippery rocks with seaweeds. And, and that is difficult. So I had spares of everything. And within the, the first seven days, I've actually broken not only the first set, but I've all, already started breaking the second set of equipment. I, w I was scared for my safety at times. I fell twice into the Arctic Sea. Uh, the first time was uh, was just me, no equipment, and it was by far the most dangerous one because it was big ocean, big seas, big waves, and I struggled a lot. The second time I was actually shooting, I think it was a four or five hour sequence of the sun going down and coming up, and I was standing on the rocks, but then there was a set of waves that came in that was very big, and that happened sometimes, and I just you know, ran down and I grabbed my rig and by the time I lifted it up the wave hit me and I fell into the ocean and my rig fell into the ocean and and that was the last of the uh, the dolly control shots. I lost equipment worth over five thousand dollars on this trip and I ended up in the hospital because I, I had a, a pretty bad fall uh, in the last end of the trip where I fell down a rock and it was about four four to five meters but, but luckily I didn't break any bones but uh, my neck is still hurting here. So it was a trip full of small incidents, but I think the pictures came out okay, so it was worth it. I think the first 48 hours, almost 60,000 people shared the video on Facebook alone. And, and uh, it's, it's just, it's become very viral. People are sharing it and the, the amount of emails is, is overwhelming already. I've shot the uh, Aurora Borealis. Now I've shot the Milky Way and now I've shot the Arctic Light. And I think I want to continue shooting these natural phenomenals because, uh, yeah, I think, I think they're beautiful.